in this episode of Folding and Ball. That's where I think the value is. It's getting tight enough. I actually knew what I was doing. That's the impressive part. Do you? Well. Roll up on a garage fire that needs to be put out now. Fire in the garage. Copy. Hold on. Before it spreads to the house. Two critical questions we'll test in this episode. What ground monitor can help you attack the fire faster? And smoothbore versus fog. Is your nozzle choice the difference between control and chaos? We'll learn from New York on this episode of Fully Involved. Midwest, West Coast, East Coast. So nobody actually agrees on anything. Open up. He fights over this video. I thank God every day I wake up that I have this job. Groves in New York with Deputy Chief Chris Johnson at the Westchester County Fire Training Center. New York City, all their water is gravity fed uh, into the city. Comes from upstate, actually goes through the treatment plant. Got a quick look at the response district we're talking about. It's a county that has urban neighborhoods in Yonkers and farms up by Putnam Valley, plus a major suburban corridor. One million people in total with 58 municipal departments. The largest department in the area is Yonkers, which has 12 stations, and you'll meet them in episode three. Back at the training center, here's the scenario. A 2,000 square foot suburban homes garage is on fire. What next? Question one, what ground monitor can help you attack a garage fire faster? The crew tests angle of attack on two different okay. monitors. All right. We can bang down this building to zero visibility yeah. in less than two minutes. <laughs> can it hit low enough? This one struggles to get into the doorway with a minimum 20 degree angle. I do want to show just kind of the uh, standard uh, unmanned low angle and then with the man, even with the manned low angle, I still can only hit the top of the garage door, so it's not that effective. Option two rates at 10 degrees. Success. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Another consideration the crew tackled in episode one, can the monitor hit high enough? In question number two, the crew ignites an age-old debate. What nozzle do you go with, smoothbore or fog? The crew tested to give you an idea of what the streams look like. First, the smoothbore. Then the fog nozzle, both in straight stream and narrow fog pattern. Which one's better for the situation? You be the judge. Garage fire, you have a fog nozzle. So I like fog nozzles. Yep. Personally, you, you don't get the reach that you get with smooth board. Mm -hmm. But for a situation like this, I don't have to be that on. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I have that 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 spread. I have those small droplets that are gonna absorb all the heat, they're gonna convert to steam and they're gonna put that fire out, right? They're gonna at the very least knock it down. Uh, well, I'm getting ready to get make an interior push. Yeah. Right, wait for more crews to arrive so they can do that. That's where I think the value of this is. So in this case, you would you would open it up just wide enough to kind of cover the garage door. You think? Depends upon the situation, right? If I need the reach, I keep it at a straight stream. Yeah. Um, so I can get that that penetration into the space. Um, I might adjust it a little bit. But I think this is a little more forgiving than mm -hmm. your smooth board. Yeah, where you got to be so precise. Yep. Yep. And again, set and forget it. Put it down. Set it. Yep. Go set up my initial attack lines and all that. Mm -hmm. Knock the bulk of the fire down. Want to weigh in with your opinion? We'd love to hear it. 
And if you have an idea for an episode of your own in your city, check out the Fully Involved homepage, tft.com slash fully hyphen involved.